NBA Now is presented by Manscaped. Get 20% off plus free shipping at checkout when you go to manscaped.com slash chat. Manscaped.com slash chat. That link will be in the comments. It'll be in the description. That will get you 20% off at checkout. Today's show, five NBA draft trade ideas. Number one, Bradley Beal to the Golden State Warriors. I cooked up this draft trade idea on our Warriors channel the other day. Let's bring it over here now. Uh, this is my idea to get him to Golden State. Bradley Beal and Thomas Bryant to the Warriors for Andrew Wiggins, James Wiseman, and uh, both your first round picks this year, seven and 14 overall. Uh, everyone says Bradley Beal could probably get you three first. Well, that's what you're trading because you're also trading James Wiseman, who was the number two pick last year as well. Then Andrew w Wiggins helps match the salary. Hey, it's going to cost a lot. You get Thomas Bryant in return to help replace Wiseman. He's a nice young big as well. Beal needs to get out of Washington. Like, he, he, he's, he's tried. He's been patient. He's, uh, he's been fair. And uh, it's just over. Like, it's just over in Washington, in my opinion. He needs to get out. He needs to get traded. Uh, that is just my opinion. That is what I would do if I was uh, Bradley Beal. I would request a trade, and I would try to get to the Golden State Warriors. And uh, Golden State can offer quite a bit with the number seven and the number 14 overall pick. So will Bradley Beal get traded? Type Y for yes. Type N for no. Get your votes in on this one. And uh, let me know if you guys think he will get traded. Uh, I'm going to type my uh, Y for yes. I believe he will get dealt this offseason. Next up, number two draft trade idea, Ben Simmons uh, to the Indiana Pacers here. Um, hey, I, I just think I, I'm done with the Ben Simmons experiment in, uh, in Philadelphia. He won't improve the jumper. Now you're hearing reports the Sixers can't locate Ben Simmons. Where is he? Just get him out of there. So here's my trade idea. Ben Simmons and Shake Milton to the Pacers from Malcolm Brogdon, Jeremy Lamb, and the number 13 overall pick. You get a first-round pick back if you're Philadelphia. You get Malcolm Brogdon, who's a much better scorer and shooter than Ben Simmons. And Jeremy Lamb's a nice plug-and-play bench scorer. He's better than Shake Milton. Simmons needs a new start. you got to get him out of Philadelphia, in my opinion. He's just, he's just not going to fit in there. This is very Carson Wentz to me, where it's like the talent's there, the upside's there, but he can't figure it out for whatever reason. Just like Wentz to Indianapolis, how about uh, – Ben Simmons to Indiana. That makes sense to me. Get him to a smaller market uh, where he can put his head down, start in a new situation, and uh, I think uh, that could work for, for both parties with that trade package. Now, who's most likely to get traded? Type BB for Bradley Beal. Type BS for Ben Simmons. Get your votes in on this one. More likely to get traded uh, before the draft, before free agency, this offseason, whatever. BB for Beal or BS for Simmons. Now, today's show is sponsored by our good, our good friends over at Manscaped. And you can get 20% off plus free shipping with our promo code CHAT. It's manscaped.com slash chat. You don't even have to plug it in. It's already in there for you. Get the brand new Lawnmower 4.0. Hey, your balls are going to thank you. I had a long weekend, got home. Uh, I was at a bachelor party. I was feeling, feeling a little frisky when I got home. Whipped out the Lawnmower 4.0, cleaned things up downstairs, and... Uh, it was a good night with the wife. I'm not going to lie. Manscaped.com slash chat. 20% off. Usually this thing's 90 bucks. You can get it for $71.99 right now. The brand new Alarm Mora 4.0 is a great product. Skin, safe uh, skin uh, care technology there. No razor burn, no tug, no pull. Uh, wireless charger. Uh, it's uh, waterproof as well. You can shave in the shower. It's a great product. Manscaped.com slash chat. That'll get you 20% off plus free shipping. My number three NBA draft trade idea, Colin Sexton to the Knicks. And these are all draft related because there's a lot of uh, draft picks involved here, obviously. Uh, so here's my trade package. Pretty simple, simple here. Uh, it doesn't sound like the Cavs want to keep Colin Sexton and Darius Garland, so I think they might trade Sexton. Uh, Kevin Knox and a first for Sexton. Pretty simple. Salary matches there with Knox, and uh, the Cavs get a first-round pick for Sexton, number 21 overall. The Knicks desperately need a point guard. They just do. I mean, they're connected to every point guard available. Damian Lillard, uh, Kyle Lowry, Colin Sexton. Uh, I've seen uh, Lonzo Ball to the Knicks. Uh, you know, Derrick Rose coming back for another year. But you don't want him being your starter. The Knicks need a long-term answer at the point guard position. And I think Colin Sexton could be that guy. Even though he is a score-first point guard, uh, I would heavily pursue that if I was New York. 
Now, speaking of the draft, make sure you're subscribed because we will be live for all 60 draft picks on Thursday night. 8 o'clock or eight o'clock Eastern is when the draft starts, but we will be live at 7 o'clock Eastern. The link is down below. Just subscribe. Turn on those notifications. Mark your calendars because Thursday night we will be getting after it, breaking down every single pick during this year's NBA draft from 1 all the way through 60. It's YouTube.com slash ChatSportsTV. Number four, the Houston Rockets draft Cade Cunningham number one. So that means they make a trade for the number one overall pick. Here's the trade idea I have cooked up on this one here. Rockets get the number one overall pick, draft Cade Cunningham. They send number two, they send a 2023 first and a 2022 second to make it happen. I'm. It was tough gauging how much it's going to cost to move up from two to one. I think it's an extra first at least, maybe two, but I just went with the one extra first and uh, a second round pick to move up from number two to number one overall. If I'm Houston, I go get Cade Cunningham. If I, It seems like they're pretty uh, convicted in who he is as a player. Uh, I think he's a special talent. I think he's going to be very, very good. I think we have his, his stats from last year, Jack, if we want to flash those across uh, on screen. Cade Cunningham, uh, is he's special. Uh, 20 points a game last year, six rebounds, four assists. Uh, he shot 40% from three. And this is when at Oklahoma State, everybody he went up against uh, knew that he was the best player on the floor and it wasn't even close. So I think that uh, I think that going and getting him uh, could be the next future of the franchise in Houston. And Houston fans need something uh, to look forward to because they tried to make it work with Harden, Chris Paul, Russell Westbrook, Capella, all these dudes that they brought in there and they never won a title. So I think Cade Cunningham could give you that newfound hope uh, in the in the in the future to come. So if you can get him, that is something I would try to do. Who's the best player in this draft? I clearly think it's Cunningham. Some people think it's Jalen Green, Evan Mosley, uh, or Mobley, excuse me, uh, Jalen Suggs. I'm gonna go with Cade Cunningham. But let me know what you guys think. Who do you guys believe is the best player in this year's NBA draft? Number five and maybe the funnest, Damian Lillard to the Philadelphia 76ers. So. We're getting frisky, right? We're having fun draft trade ideas. Here you go. Dame to Philly for Ben Simmons, Tyrese Maxey, and a 2022 first round pick. I mean, if Dame requests a trade, that's about as good as you can do if you're Portland. You get Simmons, who, albeit was a disaster in the playoffs, has a ton of talent. He's an all-pro defender already. He gets a decent jump shot. He could be an all-pro. Maxi, first round pick from last year, great defender, can shoot the three ball as well. Get a first round pick next year also if you're Portland. That feels like a win-win all the way around. And for Philadelphia, Damian Lillard and Joel Embiid would be absolutely fireworks in Philly. And if you are the 76ers, you have to do everything you can to maximize Joel Embiid's prime because we know injuries will pop up with him. But this is such a special talent. Like, I could see Philly looking at back in five years and being like, what the hell are we doing? Why do we stick around with that same duo of Simmons and Embiid and not try to shake things up? Damian Lillard with Embiid, they could average 70 points a game. Like, they, they would be unstoppable offensively, that duo. I think it'd be the most fun offensive duo we've seen in a very, very long time. So sound off. That's five draft trade ideas that I came up with. Let me know what you guys think. Send in your best NBA draft trade ideas. Let us know in the comments. We'll react to them. And uh, hey, uh, if you have some good ones, maybe we'll even show them on a future show here on NBA Now.